Hello and welcome to the second episode of my trip to Mount Everest Base Camp. I highly recommend to watch part 1 before watching this part 2. Part 1 features our itinerary from Orlando, Florida to Toronto and from Toronto to Beijing, China and from there our journey began to Mount Everest Base Camp. From Beijing we headed to Lhasa. From Lhasa we went to Shigaste Tingri and it was a great opportunity to learn Tibetan culture. As I mentioned in part 1, the lack of oxygen is common from Lhasa as it is at high altitude so we started our journey with oxygen cylinders from Lhasa to Tingri. is very beautiful and very scenic so I couldn't stop myself to capture each and every moment even while traveling through bus so this video contains a lot of scenic clips which I hope you enjoy I heard a lot about Brahmaputra river in uh, school years but I got to see when traveling through Tibet Today is like a day tour from Lhasa to Sigashte. So obviously several hours sitting into the bus but an amazing view of nature kept us on going and we didn't realize when we reached Sigashte. During long 3-4 to four hours of a bus journey, we entertain ourselves with some Bollywood songs. The geography of Tibet consists of the high mountains, lakes and rivers lying between Central, East and South Asia. Tibet is often called the roof of the world comprising tablelands averaging over 4950 meters above the sea with peaks at 6000 to 7500 meter including mount everest on the border with nepal As you tour Tibet, a vivid picture of Tibetan customs and local life unfold before your eyes.
Do you see those colorful flags? You can see those flags throughout Tibet. Traditionally, prayer flags are used to promote peace, compassion, strength and wisdom. The flags do not carry prayers to gods which is common misconception. Rather, the Tibetans believe the prayers and mantras will be blown by the wind to spread the good will and compassion into all pervading space. Everybody's away. the white car into the ditch if given the chance would you take an adventure road trip around tibet we stopped at yamad rock yamatso lake where we can take picture with uh, dogs and yak. See some Tibetan dogs there, chained unfortunately though, and yaks. There were some tourists but not too crazy crowd. So we had a good time taking pictures.
How are you gonna go? With a small van? So, connect your passport? Very nice lake for a day trip from Lhasa. Around three hours by group bus, car, one way. Look at that view. Whenever I see beautiful places like this, I always think of practicing yoga. After traveling to so many beautiful places around the world, I always think of those beautiful moments when I practice yoga at home even. oxygen tent in many hotels or stores.
water color was blue and now it is green started having trouble with oxygen. Our first cylinder oxygen user was Miss Hina. Finally, we started seeing the top peak of uh, Himalaya, Mount Everest. Skyping or party time was something new for some people on our bus and most of us had to get used to with it.
Kalapa Glacier and Samding Monastery. The Karola Glacier has total area of almost 10 square feet kilometers with a total length of just under 5 kilometers. The tail of the tongue which you can see is at around 5200 meters high and the Samding Monastery is the main monastery at the Yamadrog Lake and is not visited by many tourists. This one was with uh, lots of prayer flags. It was an amazing view.
the other solar panels, Tibet has abundant resources for renewable energy including solar, wind and geothermal owing to its complex topography and widely varying climate. Our stop was at Shiga stay and our hotel stay was at Pomo Lang Zong Tibet theme hotel. And as always, Janak's hobby is to capture everything in the hotel room. The view from the hotel room was just amazing again. and headed towards Tingri.
Mount Everest Base Camp Park. We are at 17,000 feet of sea level, which is even more than the base camp height is. Uh, there's a severe lack of oxygen at this height. Let's go over there. We're ready to head out. Up here or there's another one further down where you're on top of the hill and you'll have a better view of Mount Everest. Further up, right? Okay. Further up.
到十秒This is our hotel in Tingri. There was an entrance, and as we go back, this is the hotel. We just dropped our luggage at the hotel and headed towards the Mount Everest base camp for the evening view. This is the famous snake road. From Tingri to Everest base camp is something to experience. The snake road. On the map, this is how it looks like. It. Some people may experience sickness traveling through this road. In the next few clips, all you can see is the view of this snake road. I thought this is something that everyone would love to yeah. see. I mean, traveling through this road wasn't fun at all, but when I look at it today, it seems like fun. Many of us started to eat some mouth freshener uh, from India, sometimes gooseberries, dry mango, and stuff like that which can uh, help to get good feeling even dry candied ginger is really good when you are traveling through this area snake road yeah. i got it this time yeah, just point to the area where we're going to stop as we kept going towards the Mount Everest base camp, the view of the snake road became so intense. When you look back, it was like, oh my god, we traveled through this far. It's amazing feeling. very near Mount Everest and you can see we are very lucky 
not to have any clouds around the pig. There it is. The wrong trip monastery. Come on, with a passport, huh? With a passport. Bring your passport. The world's highest peak. 
out. During sunset, Mount Everest looks so beautiful. <coughs> sunset time. No, I'll just bring it down to the Our group decided to experience Mount Everest two times at sunset and sunrise time. We made it to the hotel in Tingri again at night. These are our rooms. Staying in Tingri at the hotel was not much accommodating or wasn't fun at all uh, but we managed to um, stay at the hotel and uh, we rented the kitchen to prepare our own food we again headed to Mount Everest base camp in the morning. And Puja is going to accompany. A beautiful morning, sunrise at the Himalayas, and if you can see at the back, sky is clear, the sun is really bright. Hey, look at that! The magnificent Himalayas and the Mount Everest right in the middle. You see my finger up there? That's Mount Everest. Yay! The snake road view was just like how I saw on Google map. Look at this. 
Entonces, lo que han ah, no quiero andar en el track, quiero decir, para nosotros. Mount Everest, going to the base camp. This is the route we came. You, you want me to call back? Comes up. You want me to call back? Zigzags, zigzags. All the way. Okay. This is now? Mount Everest. We're going to the base camp. This is the route we came. Here's the road. Here's the road. And it brought us up here, right up here. And we are so moving way up there. Thank you. 
Hi guys, I'm going to show you Mount Everest right up here. We are at the base camp. This is the road that leads towards uh, your first stage to climbing, as you can see right up there. There. And I'm going to show you the base camp that's behind. You can see far distance the black stuff up there that's the base camp. Bye. These are the Himalayan musk deer, right by the address. With lots of courage, I decided to practice yoga by the Mount Everest. It was really tough practicing yoga with thin air. So I was using oxygen can almost after every pose. This is the Mount Everest base camp where a lot of people stay and from here the journey begins. This is a camp that is set up by the locals and uh, each family can hold up to four tourist guys, uh, oxygen supply and this is where the journey begins to the mighty Everest. This is Lombok Monastery, the highest monastery in the world, and it is the entry point to Mount Everest right up there. And it's genuine right besides this Niaks up here, and there's a restaurant right up there. Here. Locals in Tibet are happy to receive any gifts you would like to give. <laughs>
We headed towards Lhasa and from there we were going to Xi'an. Hope you enjoyed part 1 and part 2. Don't forget to watch part 3.